Well, it was a contentious election, ultimately decided by less than 1,000 votes. Last week, Republican incumbent David Valadeo conceded California's 21st congressional district race to Democratic challenger T.J. Cox. And now the congressman-elect joins us to share his priorities for the district. We throw it over to 17's Aton Wallace with more. Aton. Yeah, thanks so much, Kristen and Tammy. First and foremost, thank you, Mr. T.J. Cox, for being here today, and congratulations. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, Tom, great to see you again. Thank you very much. So now that the election has passed, what does day one look like for you? Well, we're, uh, we're sworn in on January 3rd. Uh, we pick up the keys to our office at 9 a.m., and uh, we immediately get to work, uh, you know, uh, working on things that matter to the people of Central Valley, and particularly the uh, 21st Congressional. Access to affordable health immigration and creating jobs and opportunity and you mentioned those issues what are the top issues or issue that you really want to focus on right away after January 3rd well you know the top issue is always been representing the people you know and advocating for their priorities in Congress and once again those are things like quality affordable health care for all uh, you know finally uh, getting a real solution to our immigration issues, uh, creating jobs and opportunity that are going to pay a living wage and offer benefits and, you know, and provide for a career of the future. And you mentioned immigration. Both parties have failed to pass any comprehensive immigration reform, and that impacts an untold number of people in our district. What is your plan to concretely bring about immigration reform? Well, you know, Certainly everyone here in the district, they've got a family a member, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker that's affected some way by immigration. You know, first off, we need to pass a Clean Dream Act to take care of our DACA recipients who have been here working hard, playing by the rules. They should become citizens immediately. But then collectively with the Republicans uh, and our uh, new Democratic members, you know, work on comprehensive immigration reform. It's something that we all know needs to get done. And I want to switch gears to now the president. You ran a campaign accusing uh, your opponent of voting with the president 99% of the time. Do you intend to have a relationship with the president of the United States? A lot of people in this district support some of the things he's doing. Well, I, I can tell you that the president and this administration, their values don't align uh, with the people that were, that uh, you know voted for me, I would say, is that trying to take away health care, right? Passing a tax bill that overwhelmingly favored the you know the donor class, really it failed to put money in the uh, in the pockets of the hardworking families here in the 21st. But I can tell you, this is a Congress that's going to reassert itself to be the voice of the people. This is not a Congress that's going to work for this administration or this president. We're going to work for the people. And President uh, Trump. I want to now switch gears to how he's threatened a government shutdown. He's threatening a shutdown if he does not get funding for a border wall. Would you support funding a border wall if it would mean not shutting down the government? Well, I, I can tell you what they're talking about is such a minuscule portion of you know the overall federal budget, right? It's a guy that's crying because he doesn't get his way. Okay, no, we, we need to be responsible leaders and responsible stewards, right? And deliver for the people. And so we need uh, absolutely comprehensive immigration reform. Border security is a part of that. That's not the overall picture. We need to be responsible stewards of the public dollars and deliver for the people. Water is a big issue here in the Central Valley. I'm sure you are very aware, are very aware of that. Uh, how will you prioritize bringing water, not just to the Central Valley, but right here in Kern County? You know, we've already done that, Eton. We just signed on to a letter, uh, you know, pleading with the new leadership in Congress, in fact, the, the leadership right now, to support an extension of the WIN Act. Right? That was a bipartisan compromise and bill between Kevin McCarthy and Dianne Feinstein. You know, that needs to be reauthorized to provide a reliable source of water for not only our ag industry, but for our communities as well. And finally, to those who may not know, who is T.J. Cox? Share with us right now, who is T.J. Cox? You know, I'm, a, I'm an engineer. I'm a family man. I've got four kids. My wife is a pediatric intensive care physician who takes care of the kids throughout the Central Valley. Uh, I'm a guy that gets things done, and I'm a guy who I made a promise on the campaign trail. I'm never going to forget that I work for you. Mr. Cox, thank you so much for being here today. I greatly appreciate that. And a friendly reminder to our viewers that uh, tomorrow, the 14th, the California Secretary of State will officially certify the results of all statewide races. That is tomorrow once again. Kristen and Tammy, let's send it back to you.